Hello guys and welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashley. I'm really excited to have you today. Um, we're going to jump straight into today's video. This is going to be a rearrange and decorate with me. I also like to call it an itch to switch because I feel like I just wake up or all of a sudden it hits me and I have this itch and I have to rearrange my whole house. So I really hope you enjoy today's video. I'm going to show you some before clips here and then we'll get started. Also, one more thing before we get going, if you're not following me over on Instagram, I'm going to leave those links down below in my description box. I'm active over there every single day and I love chatting and hanging out with you guys. I get to share more of my real life with you. So definitely make sure you're following both of those accounts down below. And if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and join my family. I do a lot of cleaning videos, DIY videos, and makeovers, and typically all of them are on a budget because I do not love spending money. So if that sounds great, to you definitely hit that red subscribe button down below Okay, the very first room we're gonna start off in is my guest bathroom. I feel like it's pretty and it's clean and it's put together, but it's super farmhouse. And I'm just more of that like rustic glam. I like having a lot of glam elements in my home. So I'm gonna work with what I have today. And then once I kind of look at the space, then I can go shopping and I actually did um, yesterday. So I'm gonna be doing a guest bathroom makeover very, very soon. Um, we're gonna be painting the cabinets. I got a new shower line but I want to show you how you can just change up your space with zero dollar budget so all you have to do is take out the pieces you're not loving and add in some ones that you do and you can just shop your home now like I'm saying I am gonna be doing a super budget friendly makeover coming up in the next couple weeks but you can also do them for free and I'm gonna show you how So when I start this little itch to switch, I like to start putting everything in a pile. So anything I'm pulling out that I'm not going to be using, I like to put in my living room so I know the um, decor pieces I have extra because now I'm going to start pulling from other rooms. And then if I need the extra decor that's in my living room, I know it's available and I can see it immediately. So you can see I just grabbed this sign that was above my bed. I'm also a very neutral um, decor shopper and it kind of makes it like a capsule wardrobe where I can literally shop my home and every piece fits in every room. And I feel like that's so helpful if you're decorating on a budget. Okay, this room isn't exactly like how I want it, but I feel like it looks better. I think earlier it just had too much green in here. So I definitely need a few pieces in here. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I do think it looks better than how it started. So on to the next space. Okay, so this is the next space I wanna work on. Well, I don't wanna work on this space. <laughs> I think this space is actually perfect, but I'm gonna see if I can make this work without the fireplace, because I think it would save me some money if I could just put that back into our bedroom and not have to worry about buying a dresser. So I'm gonna at least try it. It may end up right back here. That's what happens every time I itch to switch. Sometimes it goes right back to the spot, but I wanna see what I can do in here if I were to move that out. Okay, so recently I posted a DIY modern farmhouse um, dining room makeover on a budget. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below in my description box. But I made this room perfect by shopping my house. But in that um, process, I messed up our master bedroom and I thought I would be able to find a piece in there and I'm just having zero luck right now. So my theory is I could have one perfect room and one room that's a hot mess or just two average rooms. 
So that was my process when I wanted to try this back in my master and I'll show you why it works so much better in there. I do love it in the space and a lot of you guys mentioned just buy another fireplace. That's from Big Lots like years ago so they don't have that exact same style and I haven't found one that I loved yet and it's still a little pricey. I want to say they're like five to seven hundred dollars. Um, so I'm just trying to like work through this and figure it out. This room gave me a run for my money. You're going to see me mess with it. I bring things in and out. I'm trying to figure out what works, what doesn't work. <laughs> um, midway through, I even paused for like an hour because I thought the video was done and I wasn't going to be able to do it. And then I ended up making it work at the end. So definitely stay tuned because there is going to be a lot of switching and rearranging going on. So as you can see, I'm trying every piece that I can in my house to make this dining room work and it just was not going well. I was super stressed, I was super tired, I had been filming for two hours and this is what my house looked like. Like I wasn't getting anywhere, but I just wanted to kind of show you this, that this is real life. Like if you're cleaning or organizing or rearranging or decorating, it's always going to get worse before it gets better. Um, I wanted to show you in here too all the cords I was talking about. These are all the ones that I tried to hide. So I feel like most people have all these cords like in their living room and their entertainment system, but all of our like modems and Wi-Fi and security system are all hooked up in our master bedroom. So we have to have a piece that hides those. So that's why I'm trying to bring the fireplace back in. But now I was just so stressed. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna start cleaning up the space and I'm gonna put everything back together. So that's what you're gonna see me do now. Okay guys, so after two hours of filming, this is where we are. <laughs> we're pretty much right back where we started. But I've been going through pictures and I am gonna go ahead and switch this. So we're gonna pull this back out. Let me show you in here. We're gonna take the desk out and the computer out. We're gonna slide this back over here where it used to be and put the fireplace for now. It just works best in here because it can hide all the cords that I have in here. Um, and it can hide in the fireplace so you don't ha even have to see it. We're on the hunt for either a TV stand for in here or a dresser. Or hopefully our goal is to find a better TV stand for this. And then this can go in to our bedroom and then the fireplace can come back out. But for right now I just, I'm not liking our bedroom back here. So I think we're just going to go ahead and kind of fix this back and work on the other spaces until we can find something. So we're gonna go rearrange again. 
So now my theory is to start in the master. So last time I started in the dining room and then I had no idea what to do with it. So I thought, okay, I'm just gonna pull everything out of here. And I knew exactly how I wanted this space. So that's what we're gonna do. And then what's left over, I can work on the dining room space. So sometimes you have to like regroup, reset, <laughs> and totally just go back at it. So you can see Chase is trying to fiddle with all the wires that are all tangled up. I cannot stay in cords. I cannot stay in those. And I'm just gonna start taking his desk and computer apart. I will be messing with that at the very end, so definitely stay tuned if you want to see where he ends up. Okay, now we're gonna go get that fireplace and bring it into our master bedroom. This is actually super, super heavy. You can see it's cracking up because we're like, how many times are we gonna move this heavy piece today? <laughs> um, but we went ahead and got like our roller so we could just roll it in there because obviously Chase can carry it a lot easier than I can and I was struggling, plus it's just super tall. So we're gonna wheel it in there and I seriously love it so much better this way. I'm gonna explain to you why just here in a second. So we messed up my firewood, but that's okay. It'll only take me five hours to get it back right. <laughs> but this is why I like this piece in here. I like it both places, but I love it in here because we have like our routers. I don't know what, we have two we have a routers. Business, a business router, our regular yeah. router. We've got our modem for AT&T, just so we can have internet. And then the power strip to plug everything in and the TV. And since this is all cut out, I can hide it within the fireplace. Yeah. And then when I push the fireplace in, you don't have to see any of it. Plus, it's flat and narrow. So, I don't know. I keep thinking once I put this in here, I'm like, it just may have to stay. It works so much better in here just because of all those wires that we have to keep tucked away in here. And then they're nice and safe. Like, you see, they can sit on the little shelves. This if it doesn't have a long cord, it can, like, set up here on this one. Um, I always get lots of questions about this guy. It was from Big Lots and it had a fake insert in it and we got it like five years ago. <laughs> this was even, it looked like stone, it was gray. I painted it to match this and then we took the fake insert out and just added this wall back here and then we added real wood, which I'll show you here in a second and I just, I think it looks so much better that way. What you want to please don't be polite because i like your attitude let's forget about a curfew because all that is stuck in my head it's me and you all speed in my heart is racing but i'm not sure i want to face it because it only does this with you our bodies meet i can feel the tension move us into the next dimension let's just let our bodies be true Hope you time lapse in that. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it takes a little while. It's like once hey, I get it. Hey, it looks like you almost got it. I oh, like no, it when it's more right here. Okay, now I'm just gonna take this photo off the wall and move it into our master bedroom. Um, I loved it in here when we had the fireplace, but now it's just not gonna make sense in our dining room. Um, I've had it above our bed before, so it's just an easy switch. I just go up there and find that original hole and I put the screw in and then hang it so it makes rearranging super easy. So that's what I'm doing. I always get tons of questions about these prints. They're printed on glass. I absolutely love them. You guys love them too. Um, just hang tight 
on that. I'm gonna have a video coming up in the next couple weeks and you guys will have a discount code. So if you're looking to order some of those for your house, just definitely hang tight so you can save some money. Let's just let our bodies be true Okay, and here is how this space turned out. It looks so much better than like the ottoman and the desk. It's just more of a master bedroom, which is what this room's supposed to be. So I'm super happy with how it turned out. It just feels so much more calming to me. Um, you're gonna see me vacuum here at the end. I just can't complete a room without vacuuming, but then this room's good to go. And now we're gonna head back into the dining room before we start working on a Chase's area. So in order to make this dining room work now, I'm having Chase rehang my shutters. I know some of you are super excited and some of you are probably really mad at me, but it's just kind of a temporary fix just to make a statement in there until I can figure out what to do with this space. I'm really thinking about turning that into an accent wall and doing like a board and batten type um, feature wall back there. So we're just gonna have to get the supplies and work on that shortly. Um, the shutters are okay. I've just had them for like four years. So I think I'm just kind kind of sick of seeing them, but it definitely just brought the space together until I can work on that. I do not like when my house is out of sorts. It just kind of drives me crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and get these hung until we can work on that wall. And I'll definitely be filming that for you guys. We've never done it before, but from what I hear, it's kind of easy and super affordable if you do it on your own. So that will be coming up in a future video. Now here is a final look at how the dining room turned out for now. Like I said, I've still got lots of changes I need to make in here. I need to decide if I'm gonna do an accent wall back there, which is what I'm leaning towards. I've also thought about putting a cabinet over there, like in the corner, maybe for my china or to display some of my pieces. I don't know, I'm just kind of on the hunt and I'm doing a lot of Pinterest searching to see what I wanna do, but change will be coming probably in the near future. But the next space we're gonna work on is Chase's desk area. I cannot find a spot to put his computer. He was more than willing to work from the laptop, but I know it's so much easier to work from a desktop. So we're gonna try him working at what my vanity used to be. So I'm gonna take my vanity away and not get ready there. So I'm gonna take down my mirror. Um, you don't see me clean out my drawers in this video because I'm actually working on it today, but I do just set up the computer for him and I add the printer and our calendar above it. So, and we're just gonna leave it like this for a week or so and see if it's helpful, see if it's distracting, if we can't work with the other one right behind us. Our jobs are kind of hard if we're on phone calls or if I'm editing and have music blaring. So we're just gonna see if this space works well, and if not, we'll move it on to the next one. <laughs>
Okay, and here is a final look at how his desk area turns out. I do need to find him a chair, but all the stores have like nothing out right now. I actually even went into Ross and TJ Maxx with my mask on and they just don't have a big selection. So eventually I'll find him a chair for at his desk. But until then, that'll work. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum the space like I do the rest of them and we are almost finished. Okay guys, that turned out to be so much harder to film than I was expecting. I thought it would be like an hour filming and I think it's been like three and a half, four hours. We did take a little break in between because I was about to lose my mind, but I'm happy with how everything turned out so far. We have a few blank walls and spaces and that's what I'm gonna be working on in upcoming videos is working on just getting this whole house back to normal. I just haven't been able to shop. So we've been shopping our house, but that leaves blank walls and blank rooms. So I can't wait to like pull the whole house together. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you're new here, I I would love for you to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.